Wake up. We are alive. We are surviving. And we must pass this on. The Community Spirit Award really was my introduction to First People's Fund. I really didn't know anything existed out there like that. As an artist, you struggle trying to feed your family and trying to feed the muse, I guess. And uh, it seems like you have a really hard time trying to do both. I feel like there's, there's nothing like being recognized by other indigenous people. There's a deep understanding there. There's a deep appreciation that really comes from nowhere else. We had lost so many elders in our organization in the first 10 years of trying to save our own ash and sweetgrass basketry weaving traditions. And the honoring came at the point where we had realized that we had lowered the average age of basket makers as a group from 63 to 40, and we had increased members to 200 plus. So together as a group, we had brought forward a whole new generation of ash and sweetgrass basket makers. When the Community Spirit Award came in, all of a sudden I, I saw there was these other opportunities to develop your art and, and get them to the community in a structured way, in a, in a way that you had some financial support, um, some resource support, and with that you start to plan and you start to, um, to execute things. So it, in one way it put a business sense to my art where I can share it um, a little more wisely so it gets back to the community. Wade and Teresa have both stayed a part of the First People's Fund family by taking on roles as trainers in the organization's business development programs. They provide their artistic and entrepreneurial skills in training imbued with the values of generosity, compassion, and reciprocity. Something that's happened for generations in tribes is passing on our knowledge to next generations. And there's first an enormous sense of responsibility. And that's what I love about First People's Fund is that our passing on of what we learn and our values-based system and our values-based approach is very parallel and related to you know, the same responsibility. Going in and working with artists is going to be a, a new challenge, but I also have a lot of confidence because being an artist and seeing how other artists are around the world and growing up on the reservation, I, I feel like I have some things I can, I can offer. And I'm really looking forward to giving it with all my heart because this will be like coming to family and saying, I have a feast to share with you, and I know you're bringing your own food to this feast, so let's leave feeling full and hungry for the next one.